Amin of Salari Wajah, thank you for coming. Adikwa Jukhalilat, you are welcome. Rahman Rauf Oyedokun, I recognize you. Femi Imano, you are welcome. Abdullah Rafiat, thank you for coming. Anyway, tonight I'm going to begin by further explaining to you what you need to understand about research. I want to further explain the concept of research. I will be looking at some technical definitions and by this I'm hoping that you will be able to further understand what writing your final year project entails. So if you're ready, type I am ready. If you are ready, I'm really excited again to have you tonight. If you are ready, type I am ready. Are you ready? Hello, are you ready? Are you ready? Hello? I want to be sure that I am not the only person here tonight. So if you're ready, type I am ready. Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. I've only seen three I am ready. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, let's jump right into it, but I need you to type I am ready. I need you to type I am ready. I think the network is becoming more friendly. <laughs> so Alhamdulillah. Okay, Femi Emanuel is ready. Adipo Jukhalilat is ready. Rahman Oyeduk as usual is ready. Okay. Yesterday, I was able to tell you that research comprises two words. I mean, research comprises two parts. Okay, Salahu Mujidat is also ready. Thank you. Yesterday, yesterday, I conceptualized research. Yeah. Okay. We can hear you. Oh. Hi. Walaikum as Walaikum as We can hear you. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So today, I said I am going to go technical. I'm going to go technical about the definitions of research. I will be looking at definitions that have been given by authors. And I will take time to examine each of the vital aspects of the definitions. So why I'm hoping that this will go a long way in allowing you to be able to conceptualize research for your final year project. But before I move on, I want to be sure that you have your pen. I want to be sure that you have your jotas with you. Please pick them up. This is not like the usual class where you just come and listen. This class is transformation. I want to transform you. I want to give you confidence. I want to give you clarity. And I want to give you a direction with respect to writing your final year project. And this is project assistance. Project assistance for fresh final year students. And I am Dr. Adishala, the gifted researcher. The first definition I'll be looking at tonight is that of Clifford Woody. Clifford Woody. Let me type that in. Clifford Woody. Clifford Woody. Clifford Woody. That is the first definition I'll be looking at this night. What has Clifford Woody got to say? What has Clifford Woody got to say about research? He says that research comprises of defining and redefining a problem. I hope we are together. Clifford Woody says that research comprises defining and redefining a problem, formulating hypotheses and suggested solutions, collecting data and evaluating them, and finally making conclusions and finally testing whether the conclusions fit with the stated hypothesis. So let's look at this definition. Let me explain each of what you need to understand about this 
So if you heard me, I hope we are together. Are we together? If you heard me, if you heard that definition, type we are together. Type we are together. Type we are together. If you heard me, if you heard that definition, type we are together. Okay. So I'll pick or sheet two. We are together. Thank you. Right. Can you all see my screen? Can you see my screen? Hello. Please speak to me. Can you see my screen? Yes, yes. All right. You can see it from my hand there. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, the first definition for tonight. The first definition for tonight is that of Clifford Woody. The definition of Clifford Woody is the first that I'm going to be looking at tonight. And what does this definition, what does it entail? Clifford Woody says that research comprises defining and redefining problems. So I'll be taking that definition piece by piece, and I'll be explaining them one after the other so that you are not going to have any problem understanding what you need to do about your final year project. So what does it mean to define a problem? What does it mean to define a problem? If you look around you, there are many questions you want to ask. There are many things that bother you from within yourself and for which you constantly seek for answers. You want to find answers to, for example, why the weather is colder this time of the year. Are you feeling that same thing on your own side of Nigeria? Hello? Have you noticed that the weather is colder this time? Hello, can somebody speak to me? Hello? Are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Sir. Have you noticed sir. that the weather is colder this time? Have you noticed? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very cold. Very cold. Like the usual? No, different from the usual, sir. Different from the usual. And have you been thinking within yourself what could have been responsible for that? Mm, no idea. Climate change. <laughs> but you have been thinking, haven't you? <laughs> Yes, sir. You must have been wondering why. Why is it cold this time? Why are we feeling so much cold? So, climate change. Are you saying climate change? Are you sure about that? <laughs> are you no, sure, sure about that? <laughs> I'm not sure, sir. But <laughs> what I want to point out is the fact that we have a problem. The weather is colder this time than the usual. So, going back to what Clifford Woody is trying to explain, you need to define a problem. And a problem is any impediment, any barrier, anything that makes you feel unusual, anything that prevents you from perhaps carrying out your day-to-day -day activities or anything that makes it difficult for you to carry out your job at work, in the community, at home. All of this comprises problems. And there are two kinds of problems. There are what? There are two kinds of problems. Two kinds of problems. I hope you can see my screen. The first kind of problem is 
problems that have to do with the nature of entities within the universe. The nature of entities within the universe. For instance, the nature of our weather. The nature of our weather. That can be a problem. You may also be looking at problems that have to do with problems that have to do to do with The relationship, relationship between entities in the universe. Do you get this? Are you seeing my screen right away? Are you seeing my screen? I want to be sure that I am not alone. Hello. Please speak. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I seem to be hearing just one person's voice. Just one person's voice. Are the rest of the people sleeping? <laughs> I'm with you, sir. All right. No, sir. We are with you. Okay. So, there are two kinds of problems that I've mentioned. What are they? What are the two kinds of problems I have mentioned? Hello, are you there? What are the two yes, kinds of problems that I have mentioned? Please read from the screen, read from my screen. Problems that have to do with the nature of entities within the universe. All right, and the second type of problem is Problems have to do with the relationship between entities in the universe. Problems that have to do with the relationship between entities in the universe. So, problems that have to do with the nature, nature, the weather condition, and problems that have to do with the relationship between entities in the universe. For example, you just mentioned, one of you just mentioned, global warming. So what is the relationship between global warming and weather conditions of countries in the world? So that is you defining a problem. And this kind of problem is a general problem. It is what? A general problem. We have propertification. Yes, desertification. We have extreme cold in the world. We have extreme heat in some parts of the world and uh, the some of the places that have ordinarily been highest throughout the years have become waters so water seems to be moving more towards the land as a result of global warming so global warming is a problem and we are looking at it vis-a-vis -vis the relationship between Global warming and desertification. Global, global warming, there's a tendency that the, the, our earth becomes hotter. Our earth becomes hotter and there might be hurricanes. There might be different kinds of unusual weather conditions that come to play. I hope we are together. I hope we are together. If we are together, type together we are. If we have been together, type together we are. Together we are. Let me hear from you. Are we together? Are we together? Type it right away. Together we are. Okay. Together we are. Let me hear from you. Are we together? Okay. Together we are Adipoju Khalilat. Adipoju Khalilat. Yes. We also have Amina Tolari. What do you thank you? Salahu Mujidat. Together we are. Together we are. So before I move ahead, I want to make this class as interactive as 
as possible as possible. So let's look, let's define a problem with respect to our situation in Nigeria. With respect to our situation in Nigeria. Or well, let's let's look at any problem that you have on your mind. Hello, are you there? I mean not allowing what you can you think of a problem? I mean not allowing what you are you there? Yes, we are here, sir. Okay. So come up with a problem. Hello, I mean not. I want to hear from you. Let's examine a problem. Look at a, look around you. Okay. Somebody is saying as a strike. Yes. Leadership problem, okay. Leadership problem, <clears throat> as a strike, leadership problem. What else? Yes, what else do we have? High cost of living, okay. High cost of living, that's from Mr. Fe from Femi Emmanuel, okay. High cost of living, insecurity, insecurity. Yes, these are problems. These are problems, but these problems, Yahoo, somebody's saying Yahoo, okay. Zainab Yamin is saying Yahoo, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, these are problems, these are impediments, and these have continued to create difficulties within our society, within our society. Let me take Let's take as strike for instance. As a strike as a problem. As a strike as a problem. Now, what is the, you might want to look at what constitutes a strike. What is a strike, for example? It is when um, workers in a particular institution, for example, any a university, says, yes, uh, they are not going to work because there are some grievances they are wishing that the government is going to address, but which are yet to be addressed. You understand? These are things that create problem situations. And so, if you want to look at as strike, with what is the relationship between as strike and insecurity? As strike and insecurity, for instance. As strike and insecurity, that's looking at the relationship. We want to look at as strike. As a strike, and what else? Students' performance. We want to look at as a strike and quality of education. Let's look at us strike and quality of education, for example. So you can go on and on. You can go on and on. So these are problems. So these are basically what you do in your project. It's either you want to examine a problem, you want to describe a situation as it is, or is it that is it, is it that you want to look at how one situation is connected to another and that is what Clifford Woody started with that a research comprises defining and redefining a problem defining and redefining a problem but 
because these problem areas can be so large, you have to redefine those problems. Redefining those problems would mean that you want to treat those problems as they apply to you, as they affect you in your community. You want to narrow down the problem areas because there are infinite problems and you cannot solve all of it once. So redefining a problem would mean that you want to narrow down that problem. Narrow down the problems. You want to look at how the problem, how it, the, it, it general problem area, how a general problem area affects your study, for example, how it affects your study as a student, how does as a strike affect your study? How does as a strike, how is it related to insecurity of students. We've heard stories that some of the students have, have died during the strike. So many things that happened. So this is what you are going to be looking at when you are redefining a problem. So you, usually you have a, a bigger, a general problem area. And it is from this general problem area that you derive some subparts, some sub-problems. Sub and this one will become the focus of your project. Are we together? Are we together? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So thank you for being there. And thank you for joining this class. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for coming. However, don't forget, let me also remind you, like I mentioned yesterday, that I'm going to have a paid class starting August 30. That means you have between now and August 30 to jump right into this class. In that class, it's called Write Your Project with His. Write your project with his, the Bring It On edition. You are going to have the opportunity to bring to me your project pain point. What are the specific pain points which you intend to overcome? So bring them to me as I help you push them to the ground and find permanent solutions to them. So I'm hoping that for you being quick action takers, that you're not going to miss out on that. You're not going to miss out on that. It promises to be eye opening and you can have your project problems, real or imagined, finally put to an end. So, by going by what I've explained so far, you may want to also tell me what this has helped you to understand with respect to writing your final year project. What, how have you been able to conceptualize research so far? Going by these explanations that I have given. Hello, are you there? Adiko Jukholilat, are you there? Hello, Adiko Jukholilat, are you there? Let's speak to us. Let's hear from you. Okay, Zainab say, says we are here, sir. Yes, I'm here, sir. Can you speak to us? Please, let, let me hear from you.
Hello. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Actually, what you just explained is maybe to just more about the topic, the project topic, what it entails and how to deal with it. Okay, so now, now if you are going to form a project topic, what are you looking at? Going by what I've explained so far. Um, I'm going to look at the topic and what, how it, uh, the relationship with the society. The relationship with the society. Do you have a general problem area on your mind that you're looking at, looking forward to? Yes, I'm looking forward to um, relationship between parents, parental involvement, and um, peer group influence on academic um, achievement. Okay. All right. So you can see now, but what is now going to be the general problem area from which you have derived those specific problems? The problem area is going to do with the students, then the, how they interact with their parents, I told them their, their peer groups. So I'm going to deal with the, probably the senior secondary students. So I want to have to ask about how they interact in schools with their peers and how they relate with their parents at school. Okay, now let me help you in that aspect. The general problem area is you are looking at academic achievements. That's a general problem area. Like academic achievements is something of great concern to every educationist and it is one of the most significant indication of progress or otherwise of any given education program and if you looked around if you looked around recently academic achievement has continued to decline over time and there are many factors that may be responsible for that. There are many factors that contribute to academic achievement. That is, you have defined a problem area for yourself. However, you want to narrow it down to what affects children, the relationship that, that occurs between the academic achievements of maybe children or secondary school students and their parents, or maybe their teachers, you understand? So that's just it. So if you are coining a topic, you're coining a topic around a problem. You first of all, identify a general problem area, and it is from that that you're going to derive the specific areas that would eventually become parts of your topic. I hope you got that. So thank you. Thank you for speaking to us who else let's hear from Taufik or Shitu either Taufik or Shitu Taufik or Shitu are you there yes I'm here sir okay so so far since yesterday and till today how well have you conceptualized research for your final year project and what are you looking forward to um mainly as a science student although currently i've been given topics so so i just from the class yesterday's class and today's class i just i, I think i just need to um make more research on my topic and just look at how it relates, maybe if probably relates to the environment or relates to maybe my field of study or anything. Sure. Okay. So this far, yesterday, between yesterday and today, you want to attest to the fact that our meeting has been fruitful. 
Were you there yesterday? Yes, sir. Okay. Fruitful? Yes, sir. So what would you be looking forward to in write your project with his? Are you already looking forward to that? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm most hoping that I will not have issues when I write my project. Like, I will not have the cost to maybe rewrite it or have issues generally, maybe as it were, it's my lecturer as also as regards my, as regards my project. Now, yesterday I said something and I'm going to repeat it again this time. You see, the decision you make today determines the precision with which you prove. Position yourself for the future. Let me type that. The decision, the decision you make today determines the precision with which with which you position yourself for the future that is it please take this home write it down right now please write it the decision you make today determines the precision with which you position yourself for the future so that means that your future that's what you are you are envisaging for your final year project begins right from now it begins right from now. So don't be found wanting. Don't be found wanting. That is my advice for you tonight. Yes, you are envisaging, you're hopeful that yes, you want to fly high in your final year project. You want to be able to deal effectively with your supervisor. You want to be able to deal with effectively with your project. I mean, in its entirety. However, in my 13 years of experience, I have discovered that what many students lacked, and like we pointed out yesterday, was that mentor who was going to walk them through, taking them through the real life explanation of what research is, so that they eventually come to internalize the research as as an aspect of living so that research eventually becomes fun and the gifted researcher is one such a mentor that you need right now so thank you Taupiko. thank you for being there okay salau mujidat are you there let us hear from you yes, yes sir yes sir okay. so far so how has I can hear you. So how has are you there? Are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, can you hear me now? Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Okay. How far as okay? How far as, as our encounter? Our you encounter. You look forward to writing. Look forward to final year writing the final year project. <clears throat> yes, I am. Um, I was with you yesterday, and you explained some things to us that. If we want to win the heart of our lecturer, we should be able to. When we are, um, for him to know that we are serious, we should be able to prepare our research proposal so that um, when we meet him, he won't, he won't just feel bad about uh, this project. My project student too, he's not serious, something like that. Yeah. And you um, also talk and uh, told us about the bring it on. Um, program that is happening on the August 30th. Okay. Are you ready for that? Okay, okay. so are you ready, ready for, that? for that? Yes, sir. and I think, yes, sir. and I think if I'm able to pay the money for the um, bring it on class, me writing my project myself won't be 
a difficult thing because in my department, they always appreciate us doing it ourselves instead of giving it to the machinery to assist us in doing it. So you Though my project... So go ahead, go ahead. What did you say? Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. <coughs> my project supervisor has given us, given me a topic. Initially, I was the only one he gave, but or he paired me with someone else, so we are doing it together. I'm a science student, a biological science department, to be precise, and he has given me the topic. So, I before the strike, I've given him the, my chapter one and three, and he said I should continue with my chapter two. So, I'm finding difficulty in writing my literature review, so I think with this class, I should be able to write it myself without any difficulty, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Okay. Okay. We also, who else do we have in the house? Okay. Uh, I mean, not Larry. have you spoken to us? I mean, not Larry. Wadji, would you like to speak to us? Are you asleep? <laughs> Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Yes. I'm with you. Okay. Now, please, before you speak yes. to us, there's this quote from Napoleon I want to put across to all of you. He says, Plan your work and work your plan. Plan your work and work your plan. Can you say that after me? Plan your work. Plan your, your plan. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, we have said. Plan your work and work your plan. So what? What is that telling you? Is that mm -hmm. making any sense? Uh, we should have plan before we lay our hand on anything we want to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what are your plans for your final year project? What are the plans you have? Hello. Please meet your mic, Taufiko. Hello, I'm with you. Okay, I'm not okay. I'm with you. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. Actually, I have a topic with me. From I'll give it to me from my supervisor. And I've been battling with it for months ago. I just joined you today. Okay, I was not with you yesterday. Okay. So what has been your experience yeah. for the little time we have ah. spent together? Today? Yes. Mm, uh, what I noticed is that if there is a guide for writing a project, it will make it easier for Zero to write it by him or herself. Oh. So are you, are mm. you looking forward to joining my write your project with ease. Did you hear it when I say it? I had you. I had you. Well, so it. It's the Bring It On edition. Let me remind you. The Bring It On edition. Your pain points, your challenges, those challenges, you, you have the opportunity to bring them on to me for three weeks. We'll be looking at them directly. I'll be pushing them to the ground. And you're going to give them flawless treats. As in flawless treats. I can assure you that, inshallah. So, work your okay. plan, I and mean, plan your work, and work your plan. Work your plan. Yes, thank you very much. Okay. Many of the students, yes. many of the students that have come across, you know, I told you I am a lecturer at the Federal College of Education Special or Job. And in my mm -hmm. encounter really? with, yes, my encounter with... Mm -hmm. I graduated from that school. Eh, oh, okay. Um, that was 2004. 2004. All right. Oh, four. Yes. <laughs> so that's it. All right. So, and my encounter with students had shown to me that many of the times, many of the reasons that is responsible for why students do not make it, I mean, they find it difficult relating with your supervisors is because they do not use this simple antidote. They do not plan their works and they do not work their plan. You see, what I've given to you tonight, don't forget, I said it's it spans 
my 13 years of experience. I wish I had this when I was writing my first. I really wish I had this when I was writing my first. That guide who was going to tell me, okay, this is what you should do next. And after you've done this, this is what you should do next. You see, tonight, I told you that if you are going to find a topic, your topic is going to come from problem areas, the general problem areas. And those general problem areas will be redefined to match your experience at work, your experience as a student, your experience in your community. Because you cannot attend to all of the problems at once. There are infinite problems in the universe. And that's why you have to make sure you take the right decision. Yesterday, we, I was told that the minimum that you could have paid for a contractor, in quotes, the so-called contractor, was somebody said 30,000. And if the person was your party, he said, if the person was your party, Neil, that is why you could pay 30,000. And that in some cases, one could have paid 50,000 naira. And you only have to pay 3,999 naira for the bring it on edition. I hope this appeals to you and it resonates with you. So if it does, just, just type yes, type it. Just type yes, if this resonates with you, type yes. If all I have said resonates with you, drop yes in the message. I'm waiting. If all I had said resonates with you, okay, you want to confirm it, okay, type. Tofi Kwashitu says yes. Okay, who else do we have? Who else? Who else? Who else do we have? Are you there? Okay, Adekpo Juhalilat. Adekpo Juhalilat is also saying yes. Thank you. Who else? Who else? And let's move. Who else? Let's move. Just type it. Drop it there. Type yes. Okay, Zainab Bodiamin is also saying yes. Saying yes. Who else do we have? You see, it's, I don't know. Many of the students are waiting for us to strike to be called off before they take decision. Do you think that's wise of them? <laughs> Who, who else is waiting for us to strike before he or she takes decision? <laughs> who else? Hello, I'm saying that some students are still waiting for us to strike to be called off before they take decision concerning their final year project. Do you think that is wise of them? <laughs> Hello, do you think that's wise of them? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> so, we're hoping that they can be able to plan ahead, work ahead. So, plan your work and work your plan. Plan your work and work your plan. Okay, Mr. Fe Femi, Mr. Femi, are you there? Mr. Femi, are you there? I'm with you, sir. I'm okay. Here. Okay, thank you for for being there. I want to ask you a question, please. Are yes, you sir. ready? Hello, Mr. Femi, are you there? Yes, sir. I'm with you. Oh, all right. Okay. You were there yesterday and you are here today again. So what's your take so far? What do you think? The thing is crack it's dragging. Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. I can hear you. I didn't get your question, sir. I mean, you were in the class yesterday and you are in the class today again how far how to what extent has our encounter been able to position you for if for being a future researcher i understand that you're not a student 
and you're looking forward to becoming a, a competent researcher. So, in fact, you told us yesterday that you would be looking forward to write, going for a PhD. How far has our encounter positioned you for that? Oh, thank you very much for that question. You're welcome. Uh, with what I've learned so far, I think uh, you've, you've convinced me that truly it is it is doable and it's achievable for someone to be able to write a project by himself or herself without contracting it out to another person. Okay. And at the same time, with what we have learned today as well, even the, the research we want to carry out is basically what we are experiencing in the society. So that means once we are able to recognize the problem, automatically then there should be a solution towards it from the way you've analyzed it tonight. So it's virtually all what we are passing through in the society. And we want to start the research on then the solution should be there as well. Okay, so are you looking forward to Thank joining you. my Write Your Project with his? Sure, sure. Okay. Wow. Thank you very much. Would you recommend it for your friends? Why not? I will. Okay. I'll be I glad will. you did. I'll be glad you yeah. did. Okay. Yesterday, Zainab Bunyamin, were you in the class yesterday? Zainab Bunyamin, are you, were you in the class yesterday? Yes, I was in the class, half class. Okay. I was unable to go with my back. Oh, sorry about that. So, what did you take home yesterday from the class? Anything? Yeah, yesterday in my business. I was not able to meet the class. We were still doing introduction yesterday before I was cut off. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Let me just, okay, let me give you a tip of what we... We discussed yes yesterday i mentioned that research if you look at that word that word research itself it is it comprises r e re and search so by research you're actually searching again you are revisiting you're revisiting previous studies it might be studies that you have conducted or studies that others have conduct, conducted and you want to go back and examine those mistakes those gaps that were yet to be filled, those dark areas upon which light was yet to be shown. So you want to bring it back to the fore in the face of recent facts. That is what research entails. I hope you've not missed out. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, so tonight, tonight, for how long have you been in the class? Have you gained anything tonight? Yeah, I was partially in class today. We talked about the problems, the kinds of problems we have. So, and you make mention of the um, weather in Nigeria. Yeah, I was in class today. Okay. So, if you, are you, okay, sorry. If you have been in class, I want to show you something new. Let me let me share my screen. I want to be sure that you have been in class. <laughs> and also, I'm hoping that others will also pay attention so that you can be able to finally internalize this aspect I'm explaining. Can you see my screen now? Yes, sir. Okay. This one I'm highlighting, defining. What did I say it is? Defining a problem. What is defining a problem? Hello, I'm listening to you. Uh, I can hear you, sir. I was going on and off in the class, so I was not there. <laughs> Please don't be going on and off. That means you don't have a pen. Or you don't have a pen. You don't have a jotter, do you? I have a... Actually, uh, but... I, I was... attending to something, yeah? Okay. 
okay so you don't know what defining a problem is okay now do you have a project in sight as in a topic in sight yes sir do you have a topic in sight yes sir okay and what area are you looking at Biology practical. You're looking at biology practical. Yes, the influence of biology practical on um, academic achievements. Okay, oh. well, you're also looking at academic <laughs> achievements. Somebody had talked about yes. academic achievements tonight, and I said that academic achievements is a broad problem area. And as you can see, you you are coming from the aspect of biological practical. The person was looking at the aspects of parental involvement. Do you see what I'm saying? So the general problem area is academic achievement and it has continued to decline. Generally, academic achievements in Nigeria has continued to, to decline. And the declination can be as a result of incessant strike like we have, as a strike can be one of the reasons why the academic achievements of higher institution students has continued to decline. In the past, when I was going to enter UI that time for medicine, I can remember very vividly, if you did not have like 260, 270 that time, you cannot go for medicine. But now you can see that Jamb, Waek, Neko, all of them, they are dropping the, the standard. They continue to, to drop the standard each year. If you have 200 now in some universities, you can go for medicine, although you may, you may have to write to pursue TME. But the point is the fact that if you check the national examinations, the internet, I mean, in Nigeria, like our like the JAM examination, like the WIAC examination, you discover that the standards, like it used to be, have dropped because not much have students been able to achieve. So what could have been responsible? So, from this alone, from academic achievements alone, there are millions of topics that you can coin out. Just, please, I'm only trying to raise your curiosity by this. Am I? Are you relating well with this? I want to relate. Are you want to relate? Well? If you relate well with this, my explanation, type I relate. Type I relate. Drop it in the message. If this that I am cooking up for you, to spark, to ignite your passion, to want to do research. Okay, Zainab relates. Yes, thank you very much. Zainab Bunyamin. She types, I relate. Who else relates with me? Okay, Femi Emmanuel says, I relate. Thank you. Who else? Do we have any other person that relates? Do you relate? Okay, Adikot Jufalila also relates. Who else? More persons that relate with this, my explanation. Drop it in the message right away. Drop it. Hello. Okay, I mean not Olari Waji is also relating. Okay, who else we have? Who else is relating? There are more persons in the house. Okay. Let's move. Let's move. Yes. Rahman Rauf, please speak to us. Can you hear me? I guess he's sleeping. Anyway, I guess he's sleeping. So this night, this night, if this is the only thing we have taken home this night, I tell you that it will go a long way. And that is the magic that having a good mentor can do for you that is the magic that having a good mentor can do for you you see all this while you might have been coming across defining and redefining a problem you did not read so much meaning to it but i've been able to expand for you this night what it entails that a problem is any impediment any difficulty look at our environment like i have mentioned we have cases of rape, we have cases of kidnapping, we have many things like that. These are problems. 
these are impediments. However, generally speaking, the areas from which your topic can be derived with respect to problems may have to do with the problems that deal with the nature of entities. Somebody just talked about biology that is a science student. You might be asked to describe a plant, a particular thing. You may be asked to describe an algae. You may be asked to look at the reproductive cycle of a particular insect. That's the nature of that. It's, it has to do with the nature. That's a problem. And you are looking at the nature. You are describing. You are describing it. So you might be en engaging yourself with that. Or it might be the relationship between the entities. You might want to look at how... Uh, okay, in a habitat, for example, you know, in a habitat, you have different animals living together. And you want to look at how the population of rabbits in a particular habitat is influenced by the population of another animal in that same habitat. So that is it. We're looking at problems that has to do with relationship and looking at problems that have to do with the nature of entities in the universe. Am I making sense? Hello, am I making any sense? If I did, if I did type you, okay, yes, sir. Okay, somebody say yes, yes. If I did, if I've been making sense, type yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, salam, Mujida. We have Zainab Bunyamin. You are typing yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let's, let's stop sharing. Let me stop sharing my screen and stop. So I'm looking forward to you. Joining, okay, yes, sir. Type people, talk people, she too. Okay, I'm looking forward to, like I said, please don't forget you have between now and August 30 to jump right into my write your project with his the bring it on edition. The bring it on edition. Ask a question, yes before I go tonight. Hello. I thought you wanted to ask a question. I wanted to, I've had the question before. When we are talking about academic achievement. So I was asking, academic achievement and learning achievement, are they comparable? Academic achievement, learning achievement. Mm -hmm. Now, this question you have asked reminds me of another vital aspect of writing a final year project. Many of the students, many of the students I have come across, they do not understand terms, terms that they coined up for their topics and this is why you should understand that when you are writing a topic it is important that you understand each meaning the meaning of each of the major concepts that you have captured in your topic if you did not you have only begun a problematic research I can assure you that you are not going to find a lead way. Academic achievement and learning achievement are not the same thing. Yes. They are not the same thing. Academic achievement and academic performance have been used by some authors to mean the same thing. Some authors have tried to differentiate between academic achievement and academic performance. Academic achievement refers to, according to what I support, 
going by the definitions given by authors, it refers to the extent by which students, teachers, or the school has attained its predetermined goals. So that is the academic achievement. For example, you are in the university now. A good reflection on this achievement is your class of degree. The class of degree that you have earned at the end of the day. The class of degree that you have earned. If you earned a first class, that's an achievement. If you earned a 2-1, if you earned a 2-2, two -two, if you hand a pass, you understand? These are indications of how well you have been able to achieve the set goals for that level of education. I hope I'm communicating. Yes. Okay. So whereas learning achievements is limited to... Okay. Classroom. It's limited to... It can be likened to learning objectives learning objectives you know learning takes place in the class for example not just the class anyway but how well you have been able to achieve the objectives you have set for a given lesson so the sum of the learning achievements will bring about the academic achievement. So mm -hmm. it's a cumulative, it's a cumulative. The cumulative of the learning learning achievements is the academic achievement. I hope I have communicated well with you. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that's why you see how many of your supervisors would even tell you this? Do they even have that time to tell you that this is what this means or this is what I'm not trying to relegate them but there are some supervisors who do not even know these things <laughs> there are uh, excuse me sir yeah yes in the topic the topic i'm having with you can i read the topic out i read it okay impacts of student use of technology on the learning achievements in postgraduate programs at National Open University of Nigeria. Okay. Yes. That is your topic. Yes. Okay. It's a good one. It's a good topic. It's a very good topic. But by what I've explained to you right now, have you been able to get closer to understanding that topic? Yes. Okay. Because um, actually, uh, we are looking at the topic. When we are talking about the impact, the impact can be negative, likewise positive. That is it. You are correct. Okay. So that's it. So the whole of your project, the success, your success in your project, start with understanding your topic. It starts with understanding your topic. And within your topic, you have to make sure that the variables are well placed. If you're looking at impact, if you're looking at effect, each of these names have implications. Impact, effect, determinants, relationship. Each of these terms are not just used. They're not just used. They are carefully used and selected to achieve predetermined purposes. So it is, okay. it is, again, this background that I'm also, again, reminding you and urging you to join the Write Your Project with his. And please do not hesitate to join and do not hesitate to invite your friends. Let them bring on their project pain points. And inshallah, we can be sure that it will be dealt with like never before. They are going to get confidence, they are going to get clarity, and they are, they are going to have direction with writing their final year project. You see, 
Writing a project is one of the most important stage in your education. And that's why you see that course has a six unit. It is a six unit course, a six unit course. So that tells you how important it is. So it is my- How many days is the program? Is it, is it only the, so in August 30, it's a strong more than that. Day. Yes, it will start August 30 and it's going to last. Three weeks, okay. So tell a friend that will tell a friend, don't let them miss out on anything. Okay. Okay. So yes, thank you. Spot of color. We tend to draw the curtain. Let's draw the curtain. And I do hope that I am going to see you again tomorrow. I hope that I'm going to see you again tomorrow. Hoping that I'm going to see you again tomorrow. So what are your reviews? What are your opinions? What are your reviews for this class? Do you have any? What are your reviews for this class? How far, how much has this class taken you closer to becoming a better researcher? Hello? So people are dropping messages. you. Um, they are dropping questions in the message. Okay. I have a question, sir. Where does prevalence of gastrointestinal helming parasites or black rat falls under the two kinds of problems you have discussed? Okay. Somebody is saying, I have a question. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Prevalence of gastrointestinal ailments parasite. Okay, now if you look at that question, somebody is asking, where does prevalence of gastrointestinal ailments parasites of black rat falls under? the two kinds of problem you have discussed. If, you see, this question, you should be able to answer it. Salaw Mujidat, you asked the question. I should be asking you this question. This is your topic. And I've explained to you that problems, let me recap again. Problems are of two kinds, two general kinds. Problems that have to do with the nature of entities and problems that have to do with the relationship between entities. This question should be for you. So which, where does your topic Yes, <clears throat> Yes, I think the topic falls under problems that have to do with the relationship between entities in the universe. And I'm not sure if um, I'm correct. That's why I asked the question, sir. How, how would you... How, how would you take that opinion because i think i think um the topic is talking about the relationship between um gastrointestinal ailments parasites what the effect of gastrointestinal ailments parasites to black okay. that's why i said okay. that's why i said the words that you use that has so for this prevalence, so for this prevalence like you now, must take a survey, must take a survey, a survey of the prevalence of, of the prevalence of the intestinal health and health How much? Is that what you are looking Is that not what you are looking at? Yes, because my spinal cord fed. You got it right. You got it right. Yes, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, Adipo Jukhalila wanted to answer the question. Okay, you may still go ahead. Okay. Adipo Jukhalila. Mm. You answered the question already. But about my question, I'll ask probably tomorrow, inshallah. But about the review, 
I think we should start the class early, probably 9 o'clock, so that we just end early too. Okay. Okay, you want the class to be started early. Usually, my classes used to be, used to start at 10. And I have my reasons for that. My reasons are to ensure that there are not going to be distractions, maybe noises, or whatsoever the environment and in fact through my survey through my survey i discovered that that's around the time that many persons are online you know when i do this whatever i do comes from research it comes from opinions i have surveyed of people's uh, have interacted with so that time i have discovered is when many of the people are busy online and it is neither too deep into the night nor too early. So that's why I decided to choose that. So thank you all. And do you have a wonderful night rest? I hope to hear from you and I hope to see you tomorrow. Don't forget jump into the write your project with his before you know it the time is ticking time is ticking let me leave you with this one before i go emerson sparks i like this quote it says be a student of success learn everything you can from those who have been the most successful learn everything you can from those who have been successful been the most successful so i'm inviting you to learn all you can I'm inviting you to learn all you can. You see, if I was going to charge you, yeah. if I was going to charge you for that class, the least I would have collected was 50K, but it's coming at a subsidized amount because I understand we need to help each other, especially these tough times. And this is an opportunity I wish I had when I wrote my first project. So thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. And you see, for joining this class tonight, for joining this class tonight, I let me give you a gift. <laughs> let me give you a gift. I don't want to leave you without giving you a gift. Please hang on, I'm coming. Uh, please the quotes. Be a student of success. Be a student of success. Learn everything you can from those who have been the most successful. From those who have been the most successful. Thank you, sir. Yes, but please don't go yet. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. Please feel free to click on that link I dropped there. It's going to go a long way in assisting you to further understand your final year project. I want to type that quote. I'm going to type it right away. Be a student of success. Learn everything you can from those who have been the most successful. Hello, can you see it? So take this home tonight. Be a student of success. 
be a student of success. So tell yourself, I want to be a student of success. And it's on that note that I want to bid you good night. So thank you for coming. And I hope to see you tomorrow again. Please don't be selfish about this class. Be generous. There is love in sharing. Invite your friends. Let them all come. Let them all bring on their project pain point. You see, many people, they want to, they need to be pushed. You know, I, I said the other time, some people are still working, waiting for us to strike to be called off. So push them. Let them come right here. Let them come and find solutions, lasting solutions to the challenges they are having with regard to writing their final year project. Let them come to the gifted researcher. So good night and have a wonderful night rest.